Hello everyone. Welcome to General Sciences Biology Module 22. Today's lesson is on angiosperms roots, stems and leaves. I am Ritresha from GK today and I will be taking you through this. We are starting off with roots. Roots of angiosperms always move opposite to sunlight. The soft part of roots and root hair absorb water and mineral salts from the soil. The root transports water and mineral salts to the stem and ultimately to the leaves. Some roots uh, like carrot, radish, etc. store food and in contingency plants use these foods. The roots are of different types such as uh, tap roots which have conical uh, root. Firstly, let's see what tap roots are. Uh, these are roots that develop themselves and form a main root and uh, they usually exist in dicotyledonous plants. Uh, they are of conical shape, that is it's thickened towards the base but thin near the side of the plants, example carrot. Then there is napiform, this type of root is extremely thickened and becomes inflated spherical at the base but it becomes extremely thin at the top of the plant, example turnip or beetroot. Um, fusiforms, uh, this type of root is inflated in the middle portion and towards the bottom and top it becomes thin such as radish. There is also nematophores. This type of root is found in salty soil of the sea and for the respiratory activities it undergoes towards negative geotropic. Example is rhizophora. Adventitious roots. Adventitious roots originate from the stem, branches, leaves or old woody roots rather than the normal root system, for example in strawberry and willow. These roots develop to avoid stress or fight with the problem of nutrition deficiency or to get sufficient oxygen or sometimes to avoid much, too much oxygen. One more important work of these roots is to help in vegetative propagation in many plants. This ability of plant stems to form adventitious roots is utilized in commercial propagation by cuttings. Understanding of this physiological mechanisms behind adventitious rooting has allowed some progress to be made in improving the rooting of cuttings by the application of synthetic auxins as rooting powders and by the use of selective basal bonding. Adventitious roots develop near the existing vascular tissue so that they can connect to the xylem and phloem. There are several kinds of modifications such as tuberous roots which are without any definite shape. An example is sweet potato. Fasciculated root or tuberous root which occur in uh, clusters at the base of the stem. An example is asparagus. Nodulous roots become swollen near the tips, for example, turmeric. Stilt roots arise from the first few nodes of the stem. These penetrate obliquely down into the soil and give support to the plant. Example, maize or sugarcane. Prop roots give mechanical support to the aerial branches. The lateral branches grow vertically downwards into the soil and act as pillars, for example, banyan. Climbing roots are those uh, which arise from nodes and attach themselves to some support and climb over it, for example, money plant. Some more examples can be seen in this table. I suggest you take a screenshot of this for later. Now we come to stems. On the basis of position of the soil, stems are of three types. Underground stem, uh, the branch or part of the stem which uh, is inside the soil is called an underground stem. Uh, these stems store the food in nodes, internode, bud and scale leaves are usually found on them. For example, banana, potato, etc. Uh, Subaerial stems, if a few part of the stem is inside the soil and the rest is in air, then these are called subaerial stems, example grass root, water plant, etc. Aerial stems uh, are which are completely confined and localized in air and entirely outside of the soil. Uh, in this type of stem, branches, leaves, nodes, internodes, buds, flower, fruits, etc. are found. Example is uh, grapes, lemon, roses, etc. Sometimes to perform specific verse, uh, stems usually modify and these change stems are called modification of stems. So in modification of stems, uh, there are usually three types of modifications. 
uh, one is underground modification. In the diverse condition, underground stems store their food inside the stems and become thickened and tuberous. There are various types of modifications that occur in underground stems. Uh, such as tuber, which is a rounded swelling, uh, example is potato. Bulb, where the leaves modify to scales and become fleshy in store food, such as onion, garlic, tulips, lilies, etc. Corn, which is a mix of bulb and tuber, uh, example is crocus, saffron, gladiolus. Rhizome, which sends out roots and shoots from its nodes, such as ginger, turmeric, arrowroot, etc. There are subaerial modifications, uh, such as runner, example, grassroot, merilea, stolon, example, mint, jasmine, strawberry, etc. Offset, uh, example, water plant, pestia, etc. Sucker, example, roses, julie flower, etc. There are also aerial modifications, uh, such as stem tendril which is found in grapes, stem thorn, which can be found in roses, lemon, plum, or Chinese date, phylloclade, which can be found in cactus, and bubbles, which can be found in ruscus. Finally, leaves. Leaves prepare food for the plants. Respiratory activities are performed by the leaves through stomata. Leaves perform the vascular and excretory activities of foods. Uh, Leaves help in performing conducive reproduction and pollination. Some leaves uh, work to store food. Leaves undergo through various modifications such as uh, leaf spines. In this class of modification, leaves transform into spines, example cactus, lemon, etc. Floral leaves. In this class of modification, floral activities such as calyx, corolla, etc. are performed by the leaves. Bract. In this class of modification, leaves become colored and fascinate insects towards them. Scaly leaves. Uh, sometimes leaves modify themselves to protect buds and other soft organs of the plants called scaly leaves. Sometimes scaly leaves also store food. Example would be onion. Leaf root. In this class of modification, leaves transform into roots. For example, bryophyllum, leaf tendril. Uh, which modification leaves uh, take the form of tendrils, example pea plant. Storage leaves, in this class of modification, leaves store food and become thickened and tuberous. Pitchered, in which case uh, they trap insects and modify themselves to form bags, for example pitcher plant. Bladder, in this class of modification, leaves transform themselves in the form of bladder to trap the aquatic insects such as utricularia. Uh, leaf hooks, in this class of modification, leaves turn like nails, for example, bignonia. And uh, then there is a phyllode, an example of which is Australian acacia. That's all for this tutorial. If you like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel GK Today. Until the next tutorial, goodbye.